Maneater? Maneater is an open world action RPG where you play as a shark, or as we call it, a shark PG. A lot and of this shark is puns for you guys. Yes. Yeah, we're actually Look. trying to be as annoying as possible with our shark puns. Hey, it'll bring the point home. It's fantastic. And Allowing. something that you guys clarified <laughs> for me, this is a bull shark. This is a bull shark, although it's a very special bull shark. Tell us about him. Yeah, so you, 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 you start out as a bull shark, uh -huh. but through eating and consuming nutrients, you evolve past what nature has intended. Okay, so you're telling me that there's some progression in this game. What's the, uh, the progression like? Absolutely, so uh, everything that you consume will make you grow. And there's four different types of nutrients, protein, fat, minerals, and a real rare one, Mutagen X. And that's really crucial to actually let you evolve past what nature's intended. And we have five different life stages. So you start out as a little baby, oh, then you grow up as a moody teen, then an adult, an elder, and then finally mega size, which you're a god. humongous. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, god shark. Yep. Uh, but you're talking about an open world here, so does that mean that I'll be able to revisit? Am I am I moving linearly through the world, or can I become my jumbo shark and then come back to my original little spawning pool and show everybody what's up? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you you can backtrack. You'll actually through your adventures will find some apex predators that are way too big to actually fight. I mean, you can try to fight it but you'll want to actually go back. So the world starts out um, you know, teaching you what to do, and then as you grow, it opens up to the whole, the whole world. And as you progress, uh, you become a bigger shark, you might be able to break through things that you couldn't before. So there's okay. that aspect of coming back and saying, hey, this place I couldn't get through before, now I can, because I can knock that wall down. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't see a lot of shark-based games on the market. I want to know, uh, you know, what was the inspiration? What does a shark-based action RPG allow you to do that you don't get to see in other RPGs? Hmm. Well, it's, it's actually, it's very, very challenging to come up with this because generally in a game, you know, you got characters and they have arms and they have, they have hands. And they tend this to, yeah. does not. So Unnecessary. We're trying to think of creative ways where we can add more elements to gameplay than just go bitey, bitey, eat something. So you can clamp onto things. You can thrash them. Uh, we also have a thing called whip shot. So anything you put in your mouth, if you're big enough, you can redirect it like a projectile, like a projectile weapon at something. This sounds awesome. <laughs> so like, and each different type of animal that you put into your mouth and you throw has different attributes. So for instance, say I grab a swordfish and I whip shot that, it's like a sniper rifle. But if I was to whip shot like a turtle, you know, it's gonna spin or a big log would like spin and knock a bunch of things down or exploding barrels, so. Think of an analogy like in a first person shooter when you pick up a shotgun or an assault sure, rifle. Yeah. These are things you put in your mouth and throw back out. And is there going to be some play here? Am I going to, you know, kind of get halfway through the game and then realize, like, I could have been chucking clams the whole time? Like, well, now you know, so. Now I know. Pro tip, you guys got that.